let's take a quick look at catching, cleaning, and cooking squid. Hope you like it. There's the squid. You know how you can get to know your meters when you meter stuff and you start catching it. So next time you see that something like that on the screen, you'll know it's squid because you drop on it and there it is. Are they on the bottom? Pretty much just drop it down. I don't know why I'm checking my drag here. Doesn't matter with the squid. Real slow movements. There's no barb on it, so as soon as you feel pressure, you just start winding. And then that steady pressure keeps the squid on the squid jigs. If you let up, they'll jump right off of there. So you just gotta keep moving all the way until you're out of the water and got them in the tank. See right here, you turn the squid jigs upside down, squid just falls right off. No barbs. Let's keep it going. You think that Sean has some experience doing this, huh? Oh, look at me. I got a bunch. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Oh, yeah. Rinse and repeat. Turn it over. Drop them in. This one's heavy. Look at me using a tuna, tuna, look at that. tuna gear for freaking squid. Yeah, yeah nothing like using a talica to catch little tiny squid. Flaying squid isn't that bad. You know, the first thing I do right here is I cut out the eyes and then here I am cutting out the beak and then you can fry that whole head just like that. And then you take the mantle, you open it up, get the guts out. I don't keep the wings and then I also cut out that plastic piece in their back. And then here I am cutting the, the wings and the, the skin off. I love the way that it looks right here. It's super clear. This squid is so fresh. You can't buy it like this in the store at all. Look at him, he's feisty. Get that beak out. Oh, feisty sucker. There goes the eyes. Chop, chop. Get that beak out. Another feisty one. Man, have you ever been bit by a squid? That sucks. It'll hurt. Oh, good one. Look how white that one turned. Ooh. Man, they change color so fast. <laughs> I'll just put this one aside. <laughs> I'll come back to you. One after another, just keep going. I'm telling you, man. If you don't fish, you don't get to experience eating squid like this. Man, I, I just can't emphasize you can't get it in the store this fresh. It's so good. It's like a lot of things. It's like a lot of things, you know, you get it super fresh and it tastes like totally different, like tomatoes in your backyard and whatnot. Oh man, that's a whole bunch. I made extra for here because I was splitting it with different guys. I think there was like three or four guys that split all this squid. I won't even eat squid if I'm not going to be eating it like the day of or like the next day. You know what's sad is that this makes such good bait. It's hard to eat it when you can catch fish with it. I got a recipe online. I think this has got like some lime and some garlic and something. So it's not just cooking in water. Mixed it with some salad. This is how my dad used to make it when I was a kid. It was my idea to stick it over rice. Oh my God, it's good. <laughs> 